Hey everybody, it's Andrea. I'm all fancy in my little cheetah sweater. Look at me. Um, all right, guys. I am here uh, doing one of the videos from our uh, YouTubers small group loop. Uh, basically, a bunch of us YouTubers who are on a weight loss journey are coming to you to discuss different topics about weight loss. Um, it's really kind of a cool thing. I'll link them down below. Um, if you are on a weight loss journey and you'd like to join the group, uh, there'll be a link for that as well. And um, yeah, so see what you have. You can learn from all of us that are on different weight loss journeys. Um, see what you like and use it, right? So this week we are actually talking about uh, eating out and being on a weight loss journey and whether losing weight while you're eating decadent restaurant foods or fast foods, is it really possible? So I definitely think it is. Um, on my weight loss journey, I have nothing that is off limits. I can eat whatever I want, whenever I want it, right? Um, I just do a 24 hour plan where I put on the foods there that I'm gonna eat. And uh, if it's not on my plan, then I'm not gonna eat it. Um, so I do have, for the most part, um, I'm giving a lot of forethought to it, right? So I really do try to set myself up in a situation where it's not the end of the day and I have nothing planned for dinner or anything. And so it's like, ah, let's just eat out, right? Um, however, I do eat out, right? Um, it's not something that I like just ban from my life or anything like that. Actually, every Saturday, our family, we all eat Chick-fil-A. I mean, just because... Um, it's close to us. It's convenient. I actually really love that um, I can sub out. They have a really good fruit cup, so I always sub it out for my kids, and then I replace the toy with ice cream. It's called balance. <laughs> so anyways, um, what I would, um, I really only have one tip for this or one thing to kind of think about, right? So when you are going to eat out, be really, really honest with yourself about what is this about? Why am I eating out right now? And be really real about it and then stick to that, right? So let me give you some examples, okay? If you are short on time, you don't have time to, to have a home-cooked meal or anything like that, right? Maybe you're on a road trip too, right? And you gotta, you gotta eat out, right? Then have that be the only reason that really affects that food choice. Let me see if I can say that a little bit better. So I'm only doing this to save time and I don't save any extra time if I choose the Big Mac and giant fries and giant Coke. Same amount of time, right? So I'm kind of kidding myself a little bit when I'm like, well, I'm on a road trip here. We got to just pick up something really fast, right? Or I don't have a lot of time to make a dinner before I run the kids to somewhere. That was pre-COVID. But <laughs> you know what I mean? So while I'm here, I might as well get the most decadent, calorie-laden thing, right? That makes sense. No. No, it doesn't, right? So enjoy the quickness of that food that you are getting, and then make a good choice for yourself, right? Um, another example I would have for this, like if you're going out for drinks with your girls. Okay, that's more about connection. And yeah, you can have a couple drinks, but do you need to share the nachos? And do you need to share... Um, the loaded, you know, cheese fries and the brownie sundae or whatever else that's going on with that. Um, and also, do you need four glasses of wine? I mean, I'm a four glass kind of girl, but <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Anyways, but if the real thing about that going out, right, is about connection with your girls, right, catching up with each other, relieving some stress, you can do that with two glasses of wine and no apps, right? You could eat before you go. You could, you know what? I'm going to blow your mind. You could have nothing. Sit there with some ice water and enjoy the company of your girls. Yep, you could do that, right? Um, 
So anyways, <laughs> date night with your hubby does not require you to be face down in some shrimp alfredo. Sure doesn't. Now, I'm not saying that like a special night at a restaurant doesn't mean that you can't, that you can't have good food. All right. Listen, a salad at a restaurant is going to be decadent anyways, right? It's going to be way more calorie laden, and rich and delicious and all the things that I just don't even put on a salad in my house. In my house, I do some spinach with some cucumbers, some tomatoes, and a little splash of vinaigrette, right? So if you view it in that way and then really just savor the eating out as time away from my kids, spending one-on-one -on -one time with my husband, because that's really what it's all about. You eating an appetizer and, you know, something creamy and delicious for dinner and then a brownie sundae that you all can feed each other. It doesn't make you any more connected or make that moment with your husband any more special, right? So really, it's just all about that perspective um, that will really keep you going how you need to go with your weight loss. Now, I would always recommend that if you're going to a restaurant, you do need to try and balance out what you're doing here, right? You need to figure out what is the most important thing about tonight or and then follow that up with what are my best choices here, right? So if you're gonna have fries, then maybe you need to get like the not fried chicken breast or maybe you get the grilled chicken breast and your special thing is the fries on the side. Um, if you're gonna have an alcoholic drink, Maybe you should just stick with like a side salad or <laughs> something else that's kind of kind of plain and whatever, right? Balance it out. Um, if you wanted to just have a salad for your dinner with your, you know, hubby or whatever, you guys could also just split a brownie sundae at the end and you will feed each other, right? Like, come on. Um, and then if you're, you know, really wanting something creamy and, and decadent, like maybe you can do that and if it comes with a side, just get the steamed vegetables or get it like side salad, right? So um, I really think that what, I, what it's boiling down to um, is that like you really have to get your perspective right. You know, kind of figure out what is my intention? What's really important here? You know, if it's chatting with your gals or having an intimate moment with your husband, you know, while you guys talk about something other than the kids, you know, then that's what it's about. And it's not really about what's on your plate or in your mouth. And the final word that I will give to you <laughs> about how eating out um, will not derail your weight loss goals, hunger scale, guys, stop when you're satisfied. Mic drop. All right, I'm gonna see you guys later. If you like this, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time on the journey. Bye.